And it's not just small businesses hit hard by staffing shortages. Right now, thousands of nurses are needed all across the state. Fox 46's Jamal Goss shows us how hospitals are working to keep up amid another surge in COVID cases. As people who are unemployed continue to search for work, high demand jobs in the state right now are in the health care field. Health officials say right now they are seeing some of the highest staff turnover rates in decades. Nurses continue the fight against COVID-19 while also facing a staffing shortage. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm just like everybody else. I'm tired. Dr. Gary Ferris is an ER doctor who says nurses are overwhelmed and hospitals are nearing capacity limits. We're doing all we can. You know, we're trying to open up extra beds. They're offering additional pay for people. As people are doing what needs to be done to try to solve the problem, we're just running out of resources. Resources like people. Right now, close to 15,000 registered nursing positions are available in the state and close to 5,500 job openings for nursing assistants and licensed practical nurses are on ncworks.gov. Ferris has been working at Valdez Emergency Room for the last three days and says 80% of patients coming in to get tested end up positive and are unvaccinated. And I don't think the public realizes every day we come on and we put our lives on the line for the public and we're getting abused by people. We're getting yelled at by people. We're getting assaulted by people. Um, this is this is unacceptable. The new nurses coming in the pipeline, you can't take in as many. Then those coming in, the training has not been the same because they've been challenged trying to get into the settings where you have COVID. For more than 25 years, Mika L has been a nurse. She's the president elect of the North Carolina Nurses Association. So we're open to anything, but you have to think when a new nurse comes on, you know, depending on the clinical specialty, they could need up to more, 20 more weeks of orientation. So you have nurses that are working to take care of the patients and trying to orient to bring so that we have a future. A national health care retention report and RN staffing report show hospitals and nursing staff turnovers are at an all time high with a turnover rate for all staff RNs at 18.7% last year. So everybody's taking on more just to meet the needs. So it's, it's very stressful. It's very palpable. And the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts a 7% growth of registered nurses in the next eight years as people suffer more chronic conditions like diabetes and obesity. Meanwhile, some nurses tell me they are skeptical about people getting into the business. In Charlotte, I'm Jamal Goss, Fox 46.